Hi, God bless you, Faith Life friends. Let's praise the Lord together. Amen. He is wonderful and worthy. Hallelujah. Let's talk about unity. Let's talk about the early church and how the early church functioned. They are an example to how we should act today, okay? In the book of Acts, it is recorded in chapter 4 and verse 32. It says this, Now the multitude of those who believed were of one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. With great power comes great grace. We certainly need that great grace today to do this mighty work for the Lord. Amen. Verse 34, nor was there anyone among them who lacked. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that were sold and laid them at the apostles' feet and they distributed to each as anyone had need. Now this is a powerful concept. Even uh, Apostle Paul taught on this in, in 2 Corinthians chapter eight, he's recorded that the one that had much would give to the one that had little so that there would be an equality and that there wouldn't be a uh, one who had more than the other, but they would all have the same because they had all things in common. And this is really important in the unity in the body of Christ for us to get the work done. You know, I, I just uh, seen a, a testimony of a, a pastor, a friend of ours, who just received a house for the purpose of the Lord. Someone in his ministry had a house and they donated the house to the work of the ministry. You know, that, that there it is. There is the, the, how the Acts Church worked. They worked in unity. Now it's recorded two times in scripture, you know, and when it's recorded two times in scripture, it's really being emphasized, this is important, the unity in the body of Christ. It's also recorded not only in Acts 4, but in Acts chapter 2 and verses 43 and 44, and it reads like this. Let me get to that page, okay? It reads like this. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common. There's a working of unity again. And sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. Wow, see there, there is the unity in the body of Christ. And I just wanna leave it at that, that let's seek the Lord and ask him, what do I have that can be used for your glory? It's not mine, it's the Lord's. And when we do that in cheerfulness, and we give with what God says to give and to do for his kingdom work, you and I, we will be blessed in being obedient. Let us do it cheerfully. Let us do it with grace. Let us do it with joy and release it because you know, it's not even our own. And this is what I believe the body of Christ is coming into again, that the great grace is associated with the great power, the signs and wonders to give God the glory in all these things. Praise the Lord. I pray that this blesses you today. Let's meditate on it, think on it, and walk in it. Walk in God's word. Be the doer of his word, not the hearer only. Let's not deceive our own selves, but let us be the doer of God's word today. You're loved in Jesus. We'll talk again soon. God bless you.